Honourable Minister and the Honourable Minister of State have uh, adequately briefed uh, both committees of the Senate and the House of Representatives. Uh, before then, we were a bit uh, concerned about the level of preparedness, and, but uh, from what the uh, outcome of this meeting has shown is that uh, FCT is on top of their game. You know, the Minister of State, she's a politician. So she has gone through the grassroots to go from the world level to the unit level. So I think everything's in order. It's going to be spread very well. Working with all the members, the chairman and councillors. Honestly, I think um, I aligned myself with the submission of the Senate Chairman and FCT. I think uh, we need to look at, use our local people to make sure that a much sensitization is done at the grassroots. And I, I think the Minister has actually enlightened us on the position, what she has done so far, and we are very much satisfied with it. As you know, the legislative arm of the FCT administration is the National Assembly. And uh, in the National Assembly, we have three committees, the Senate Committee on FCT, the House Committee on FCT, and the House Committee on FCT Area Council and Auxiliary Matters. We held a very robust discussion this afternoon. We highlighted uh, the situation of the FCT intervention towards fighting uh, COVID-19. And we got a lot of suggestions from the members of the National Assembly based on their knowledge of what is happening and also based on their public interface. And we have all agreed that uh, on measures to be taken. And I, I, they also assured us of proper legislative support like they have always done. And we continue to count on the cooperation with them. And uh, at the end of the day, we, we all agree that it's very important that uh, for us to fight COVID-19, there has to be full stakeholder engagement. It's a fight that uh, all arms of government have to, to work together. And it's also a fight that involves citizen engagement because the greatest weapon we have is personal discipline, adherence to government medical regulations, and social distancing. Thank you.